Aladdin and the Magic Lamp Today we have a book named Aladdin and the Magic Lamp Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Agrabah, there lived a young and adventurous boy named Aladdin. He roamed the streets with his faithful monkey companion, Abu, looking for treasures and wonders. One fateful day, while exploring the bustling marketplace, Aladdin encountered a mysterious old man. The old man revealed himself to be a sorcerer and asked Aladdin for help. He claimed to know the location of a magical lamp hidden deep within a hidden cave and needed a young and brave soul like Aladdin to retrieve it. Guided by curiosity and a desire for adventure, Aladdin agreed to help the sorcerer. Together, they journeyed to the cave's entrance, where the sorcerer showed Aladdin a magic phrase to open the hidden chamber. Inside the cave, they found the legendary lamp, but before Aladdin could hand it over, the sorcerer's true intentions were revealed. He was no ordinary old man. He was an evil sorcerer, seeking to use the lamp's power for his wicked scheme. Thinking quickly, Aladdin grabbed the lamp and refused to give it to the sorcerer. In anger, the sorcerer sealed Aladdin inside the cave, leaving him trapped. As the darkness surrounded him, Aladdin accidentally rubbed the lamp, and to his astonishment, a magical genie emerged. The genie, with a voice as booming as thunder and a heart as big as the ocean, offered to grant Aladdin three wishes. With his first wish, Aladdin asked to be freed from the cave. The genie waved his mighty hand, and Aladdin was safely back in the bustling city of Agrabah. Excited by his newfound power, Aladdin decided to use his second wish to become a prince so he could win the heart of Princess Jasmine, whom he had fallen in love with from afar. Disguised as a prince, Aladdin entered the palace and met Princess Jasmine. The two instantly formed a bond and became close friends. However, Aladdin soon realized that pretending to be someone he was not was not the path to true happiness. With his third and final wish, he asked the genie to be set free, granting the genie his long-awaited freedom. In the end, Aladdin learned that being true to oneself and having the courage to face challenges with honesty and integrity was the key to finding true love and happiness. His selflessness and bravery won him the heart of Princess Jasmine, and they lived happily ever after. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.